Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty Crosswords with No Fair Fight. Yes, I have to redo the word voice. But anyway, we are on Bolo Island. Small it is, a lot of bears there are, but that is not the problem. We know our way around. Ooh, bonus coin. Um, we actually want to get the amulet of, I think it's illumination, something like that. Um, because we get additional leadership for that and experience for that and the um, castle I think sells then a little bit more stuff so that is beautiful. The only problem is that is very well guarded and there are bears everywhere. It's like bear heaven here. We could already fight them but we don't want to because this is not the fighting army we have. This is the... Well, actually, it's not really an army, it's just, oh boy, are we lucky that this bear is Dumber's Rocks. And where is he going? He doesn't know. The problem with is he, if he goes into our direction, we're not able to kite him when we get out. Beautiful. So, the ancient catacombs, we've been here already. We are looking for a chest protected by a giant robot. Yes, killing the robot is part of a quest, but we're not interested in that quest yet, because we don't want to fight the robot. What we want is the chest. And luckily for us, that robot is stupid as hell. And here he is. His name is R14 Gromat Seca. Attention, you've entered protective zone. Speak password or immediately leave this sector. You will be destroyed. Repeat. Emily, access code invalid. Code name not included in registered passcode database. Initiating destruction protocol. What? Target acquired, destruction sequence activated, guide, droid, codename R14 Gomezera, proceeding to attack, unidentified intruder, that's us. Be aware that this robot is a little bit flawed when it comes to his um, targeting system. Because I'm clearly in front of him and he's not even uh, registering that. But when he stops his uh, pursuit of you, then he stops for a well for a small amount of time and you could even use that if he's not that far away from the chest you could just outmaneuver him relatively easy this guy isn't clever and this guy isn't very fast and there we go there is the amulet when you have the amulet use the amulet before you give it back because you will get 50 leadership now of course you say 50 leadership might be nothing but for example, if you get your hands on um, a rat, which is an item that you can use single uh, once, then you get plus two mana, plus two rage, and cost you 50 leadership. And remember, there is a lot of skills and items that increase your leadership more or less in percent by lowering the cost of taking certain creatures in percent. So yeah, 50 leadership. Don't sniff at it. It's worth something. And why, if you have it, why don't use it? I mean, I I think it's good. Not big, but good. Small things matter, as they say. Now, the problem is getting out of this island in one piece, and that isn't that easy. So this is Lin Torvald. He's a specialist in dwarves. Well, you have to love dwarves, do you? And he tells us about this machine, and he's, ooh, 2,400 coin. Oh boy, look at that. There is the bear. And he has seen us. And bears are everywhere. But this bear is stupid. God thank me for that. I would take the flag, but we have tested our luck already more than enough. So, uh, screw this. We're getting out of here. Run, 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 run. Always keep an eye out for the pirate in the area. Although the pirate is relatively low in level, astonishingly. I think he's only level 7. So, not that bad. Um, oh, there is the barbarian. He's patrolling. Remember, these guys are immune to mind tricks. And they're hitting pretty hard. Very good at doing criticals and stuff. So, yeah, don't underestimate them, ever. However, they're low in level, which means there are certain creatures who do a lot of damage to them, and there are a lot of spells that work on them that would not work on others. Sheep, for example. I know, costly, but effective. With that being said, um, you can build a barbarian army, 
out of barbarians and berserkers there's certain items that help with that there is for example the shield and there is an axe I think they sell it it's 20% uh, more damage to all warriors armed with melee weapons oh, that works on swordsmen as well of course or, or uh, the two-handed swords paladins or knights it works um, works with most orcs demons of course with axes just um, and they're even they're not uh, legendary so theoretically speaking there could be two in your games and this thing here gives f plus five mana and ton if you do some kind of teleportation shenanigans but we mainly buy it from five mana because we're totally out of mana and there are no good gloves at the moment and every point of mana we have will allow us to cast more spells and increase our achievements. And it's all about the achievements in the beginning. I mean, that is one more um, oil fog or one more fire bolt or one more um, stone skin. So definitely do that in my eyes. If you can, that is. Um... So far, so good. Awakened Dragon. Please, please um, increase that spell if you can. That is the treasure chest. Oh, yes. Buy that for 10,000. Train it up and you can sell the Inca, the um, chest, or more or less it will give you by using up to 25,000, I think it is. A lot of coin. You can get a lot of coin out of this chest. Just have to buy it for 10,000 and then level. And then you can sell the chest as well. I mean, 3% more gold after battle is laughable. But still, it's coin. It's coin. Every coin counts. And this is the island of Skull and Wind. The Pirate Bay. The question is, how weak are they? So... What are they selling? Do they have any work? Yes, they have. They um, give us a job and they're selling stuff. And they're selling news, but you have to pay for every use 100 gold. So question is, is that worth it? I don't think so. So the cat ears, that sounds good, but there are not that many female troops come to think of it. I mean, there are the demonettes of the demons, and there is the nymphs and the fe fairies of the elves, but they don't work too well together with the demonettes, so you basically buy it, and then... And that's a roasted rat, by the way. And I would always do that as long as you're playing a mage. You could argue that you should not use it if you're playing a mage because you're so low on leadership in the first place. But then again, every point of mana counts because you can do so beautiful stuff with your mana. It is unbelievable. Um, they don't have anything for me. That's how it is. They have a job as a bounty hunter to kill um, the cruel guy uh, running around. And they've got another job for me. But it's mainly killing people and we're not into that at the moment. And we're sure as hell not buy a boat for a lot of gold that we do not need at this point. But we should be looking around trying to buy items. Avoiding enemies. Because it's not yet the time to fight. These guys are weaker, so they're fleeing. Balance of power and additional coin. Yes, yes, please. Arches. Arches. Skeleton arches are good units. Um... Only if you have a steady supply of them, because you'll need a lot for them to be effective. Um, in this playthrough, I think there is no big seller of them in indefinite or really high numbers, and so this is not really working. I spot a chest. Oh boy. We buy Inquisitors. Why Inquisitors? Are Inquisitors good combat units? No, they're not. But they can produce rage, and that is the key part here. If you're going for achievements, if you're training your troops, this is important. Get yourself um, Inquisitors, because no one will give you so many uh, rage points in a fight right from doing 
start and doing nothing than this beautiful um, Inquisitor. Split them up into two groups and every turn you'll get yourself two times uh, between I think it's six and ten rage. So that is marvelous. Very good unit. And they can resurrect people in times of need. So you get the achievement of uh, winning without losses easier if you just um, ignore, for example, some bowmen with fire arrows or skeleton bowmen, something like that. You know, low level units. And there we go and take, uh, take the mana and rage and forget about the uh, leadership, which is in my eyes a good idea. Now, that thing gives 100 leadership, so that's pretty cool. And we have to find the axes, the goods, because there is a story here, a quest we've taken of that uh, particular guy here, and that is that the Union has forbidden two-handed axes for a pikes, picks, uh, for mining tools, for security reasons, and now, as crazy as it sounds, um, they're only using one-handed picks, so the effectiveness of work uh, drops, and so everyone is trying to get the two-handed picks, but they're illegal, so he's smuggling them, because they will be uh, legal again pretty soon, because they notice that that is stupid to uh, declare two-handed picks illegal, and he has to sell his stock before that change comes and his two-handed picks are at the normal price again. And this guy here, Master Logar, tried um, to build an axe, and he failed. It's a special axe because he was tricked. An axe of the elements. We'll encounter that thing later. And uh, he wants us to help. And he says, you can only turn back time if we only could. And he said, it's not possible, but we know that the spell exists. And we get three might, three mind, and three magic runes if we find him such a chest. And guess what? We know where that where, uh, spell and we know where that scroll is please keep in mind that you have to empty your spell book enough to have room for that spell or scroll better so to say because in the meaning you mean in the beginning you collect a lot of scrolls and you might not be able to carry additional scrolls that you buy so before you run around the world um, doing missions that involves carrying uh, scrolls around make sure that you can carry them and just if you're at it, um, buy the good spells that are around. Oh, chest, chest, yes, yes. Totem of Adrenaline, uh, yeah, I have to love that, I guess. Nothing here that's strange. Normally there is a chest here, but you can't have everything. Can we trick this guy here? It's a little bit dangerous, but I think we can do that is one of the quest things. We got the chest, that's what we're here. Only one is missing. Oh, pirates, pirates. Well, we're on the pirate island. Who wonders that? Um, can we outmaneuver them? That's the question. We split them up into two groups. At least that's the idea. Now, no, we're just trying to get our leadership back. Because if you enter a fight with troops um, in higher numbers that you can command, and they have this broken crown thing on them, that means they're out of control. They will do what they like until they lose enough troops that you gain control over them. There are tricks to um, exploit that. Really crazy to really crazy amounts, but um, we we are not we're not doing that because that is an extremely desperate approach on the game. Uh, I would not recommend that. That is the chest that contains the goods, but are there two of them? So only taking one will not help. Now we're selling scrolls to get the room together to uh, buy the scroll of time because again. Six, uh, nine runes in total. Three red, three blue, and three green is absolutely astonishing. That is one of my favorite quests. And you normally get that spell on the way anyway. But it costs 50,000 gold. So make sure you have the room and make sure you have the space for this quest. Because it's awesome in its payment. It is not as awesome in its um, necessities having the room and the money to buy the spell. Nevertheless, um, that's it more or less for today. I thank you for watching and we'll see each other next time. Bye.